guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. people sherry here from the fuck given crew how's it going so this is going to be a twin flame reading for um february the 17th until the 24th i apologize for not being able to do uh last week's reading i had some major issues happening with the cards as i announced last week i am selling my cards so um originally i had uh cody doing the cards for me but he was in a car accident uh, so I drove up and down the coast looking for somebody to make the cards for me ultimately I went uh, back to the place here in town and had somebody else do it for me um, but in the meantime I had um, a deck printed out on white and what I did was actually paint the back black to see if I can save some cost on that um, I don't know why I um, didn't think I did a good job on it, but I was like, oh, you know what, um, maybe I'll let, leave it to the professionals. I thought maybe my cutting was crooked. So I got them to cut it, and wow, they did a really bad job. Half, you know, half of it was cut to one side, um, leaving a big gap, and they were cut crooked. So I, honestly, I did a way better job than them, so what I did was... I got them to print the cards off again, so I had eight, sorry, nine cards made um, and cut, and then I, I went back and said, look, I can't give my customers these cards, they want quality, so I got them to um, print out the sheets of the cards and I cut them myself, so pretty proud of myself, eight orders in two days. Homemade boxes and the cards are, they have the nice round edge to them. All hand cut by myself. Nice and even. Yeah, they look good. Cheers, guys. If you're interested in ordering the cards, just uh, send me an email. Uh, the link is below. It's sherry jock at hotmail.com. Um, I also went to another printing company as well, and um, they printed the cards off in a, on a different type of paper. It feels like it's a little bit better quality, um, so I'm waiting for an estimate on that. Hopefully it's not too much more expensive than, than what I was using. Um, yeah, okay, so I think what I want to do is do, a, you know, just a quick twin flame spread. I'll use my cards. So let's pull the cards first and then I'll go through the positions. And I apologize if my throat gets scratchy. I am currently have the flu and so my throat really hurts quite a bit. Uh, and it's been cracking up all day, so my bad. And again, thank you guys for your love and support. Without you, I would not be doing this. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, we have Yin. So the Empress. The Empress, oh, and look at that, what was below it. I already seen it, so I have to bring it forward as well. Okay, so the Yin card, Empress, is receptivity, being open. It is the Divine Feminine. Um, it is gentle, nurturing, um, loving energy put forth into manifestation um, relationships connections it's growth growing um, yeah it's being receptive and open as well so it's coupled with the 1111 card so there's a sense that there's this receptivity to the connection to the 1111 connection if you're masculine your twin flame divine feminine <clears throat> is probably coming forward if you're the feminine, your twin flame is probably coming towards you. But there's a sense that there's that openness to it. 
you might be receiving a lot of, you know, synchronistic signs, coincidences, seeing the 1111 on the, the clock. That's a, an awakening sign that your twin is near, that you're in that twin flame connection. Uh, you tend to see the 1111 more as the awakening process uh, continues starts to come more often and then it may dissipate for a little while just to kind of give you a break and then it comes back again boom 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 you see the 1111 all the time or double digits or, or you know three similar numbers on an address or on a receipt what have you okay so what's in the past position for the feminine wow lover's card so this is feeling the twin flame connection feeling love, passion, desire for your twin flame. But it is also loving energy, I mean a longing energy, it's desiring to be in that connection, be one. When you come into this world, your soul is split into pieces. And so you go through life looking for the other half of yourself. So that's why it represents a longing is to be one with the other. What is in... Oh, just one moment. Sorry, my, my daughter has some friends over and they're being a little loud today. Okay, so the masculine got the sacral chakra in the past position. So this usually represents an emotional blockage of some kind. Um, so this speaks of your relationships, um, your connections with others, um, feeling emotionally stable oh one moment sorry about that girl energy that's what we're gonna be in I guess for the next week okay so sacral chakra emotions so I just wanted to pull another card just to, for a clarifier I should have shuffled it in front of you guys but the king of fire again a sense of passion and the connection um, the king of fire is somebody who's a leader who, he's a king of no fucks given, right? He doesn't care about people's opinions. He takes charge. Um, he is a leader of a revolution. He is a powerhouse of energy. But then we got this sacral chakra, which is an emotional blockage. Okay, so what is in the feminine's present position? Chariot, another major arcana. So this is taking control of your life. This is pursuing things that make you happy. It's an external um, exertion of power. It's overcoming, you know, obstacles standing in your way. So the feminine is in pursuit of something that is emotionally, um, that makes her emotionally happy. So what is in the masculine's present position is the five of pentacles, feeling alone, feeling disconnected um, in the 3D reality. So he is not reaching out. He is not, he doesn't feel safe. He feels the maybe alone. I don't know. But I'm going to pull one more card. Let me just shuffle it in front of you guys. Actually, let me use this deck. It's my smaller deck. It doesn't have the words on top. So the cards that I'm selling have the words on top. So instead of, you know, um, for example, the five of fire, or sorry, the five of earth at the top, now I have feeling alone. So the cards have changed a little bit, but this deck has no words on it. So I just want to pull a clarifier for this. the three of wands so three of wands is getting a thumbs up from the universe it's feeling encouraged feeling like you are successful it is putting work and effort into something and then seeing the payoff from it so he he's pursuing something possibly spiritual or something creative that's giving him a sense of accomplishment but at the same time he feels alone in 3d reality that he's got no one to share his success with maybe 
Okay, so what's in the near future for the feminine? The student. The page of pentacles. This is commitment to long-term goal. This is, this could be a new job, um, a new financial opportunity, going back to school, sitting down and making plans for the future, committing to a future goal. So the near future, the feminine wants to start something new in the 3D, becomes the student, actively plans for the future. The nine of wands is the wounded warrior, feeling like you've been on this journey for a long time, you're seeing no results. But I, I think this really is pointing to spiritual strength, not giving up, doing something that will give you a return, payoff. Uh, maybe you feel like you're putting a lot into this connection, you know, but you realize that there's still so much more work to do. The near future for the masculine. Never give up. Seven of Wands. So this is uh, being the king of the hill. Um, but feeling like there is a lot of competition around you. you. You're scared that you might not be able to hold, you know, maintain that position. A lot of fire on the masculine side. So the message, you know, is never give up, express yourself, having the confidence to continue. The Ten of Wands, wow. So the Ten of Wands is the Phoenix rising, it's exhaustion, it's being caught in the machine. So he's giving a lot of himself. He, he will... Something will end. Something will come to completion. And it's a well-deserved reward, I feel, especially with the Three of Wands there. He sent out some type of intention, and he will reach that finish line. He won't give up. Never give up. And the Ten of Wands is reaching that finish line. Now we got the Nine of Wands over here with the Ten of Wands. There is a slight mirroring happening. Um, so it's almost like they come together and shoot for the finish line together. Okay, we'll leave the final outcome for later. Let's move on to the Union. So what's at the foundation? Aw, the Romantic Knight of Cups. So this is movement forward in love. It's you know, sending loving messages, it's um, offering love, it is longing for love as well. It's wanting to be in a connection and showing your love for that person. So that's a shared energy at the foundation for both aspects. So there is a pursuit of love for sure that's felt. Okay, um, there is an emotional blockage in feeling alone on the masculine side, but the feminine is still, while well, she is moving forward in the present position, there's a sense of uh, reaching the finish line in the near future for both aspects. What do you want? Expansion. Oh, I feel a tickle in my throat. Hold on. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. Okay, so expansion is the door opening, seeing things from a higher perspective, seeing all the possibilities. So what you both want is that door to be open, to, for that void, that gap to be closed, to actively pursue the things that um, bring you joy. What is the feminine bringing into the union? The Ice King. So this could be an air sign, but the Ice King is somebody who has mental clarity, who takes charge, action, who cuts away barriers, sees through bullshit, but expresses himself in a very confident way. This could also mean that the, the feminine is completely cut off emotionally from the masculine. Um, but I feel that it's more of a, a clarity about this connection.
there's a truth an understanding um, about it what is the masculine bringing in the queen of love so water energy um, the feminine is bringing masculine, the masculine is bringing in feminine energy, huh? Okay, this could represent the feminine, but really this is what he's bringing in, which is love, um, openness, emotional openness, um, expressing your emotions, being loving. We got a progression from the knight to the queen. You know, so this is almost an energy of reciprocation feeling deeper in love uh, more commitment um, this is also psychic ability as well so the masculine's open and receptive where the feminine may be cut off emotionally what's at the heart Aw, broken heart I don't like seeing that there so Pain, heartbreak, betrayal at the heart. Okay, let me shuffle those again. Hmm. It's an odd card because I don't see any connections to it other than, you know, the sacral chakra in the past. One card each, masculine first. Queen of no fucks given and the page of swords. So the Page of Swords is communication, um, clarity of thought, having a lot of ideas, inventions, um, communicating, the double communicator, double communicator, sorry. So there's a lot of air energy on the feminine side. So she wants to talk about things that have happened in the past. Maybe she can't trust um, the masculine so she's you know she, her heart has been broken so she may have cut herself off emotionally she wants to talk about it the masculine is bringing in another feminine energy but we have the king down here and in terms of the heart space we have the queen so this could represent a couple um, he does feel alone a disconnect but this is a sense of him not giving up. So the queen of fire does not give a fuck. She says what she wants to say. She takes no shit from people. Um, she's the center of the tension. She lets things bounce off of her. So although there's a heartbreak here at the center, he may be putting on a front that it doesn't hurt him. But she's standing here like, I want answers. You know, let's clear the air. Let's heal. Um, yeah. Let's expand. Let's grow. Let's open up. Final outcome for the feminine, throat chakra. Communication. Yeah, it's big on her side. Communication comes. Oh, okay, that one jumped right out. So it's a page of cups. <clears throat> so the page of cups is communication, loving messages, um, being in this loving, poetic energy. So there could be, you know, loving communication that comes. You guys open up, you communicate, you say what's on your mind, you finally express how you feel. Openness, receptivity, right? Beginning of a love connection. And the Masculine, Healing Heart, Four of Swords, good to see. We have a broken heart there, and here now we have a healing. <coughs> Sorry, I got that tickle again. Um, one card, nice, the High Priest. So this could represent divine guidance, but I feel that once he detaches and heals his heart, there's this illumination that comes. He is being represented as a spiritual leader down here as the king of fire, but there's that blockage there, right? He hasn't fully transformed into the high priest yet. The high priest is somebody who is a spiritual leader as well, but, you know, they found their own light within. 
and they have come to help others out of the darkness to share their message to share their their journey so in this withdraw in this healing time there is illumination but it, he's going through the fire <clears throat> okay so let's pull final messages from the universe I just noticed that there's three pages here on the feminine side page of swords page of pentacles and the page of cups so communication is big especially with the throat chakra there um, the masculine has a lot of feminine energy which is receptivity but it um, feels like he needs to make a realization first, withdraw, and then from that withdraw, he understands something. There is an expansion. Okay, so for the feminine first, Venus with cherubs, aww, and the masculine flying fish. <clears throat> card true love okay so it says my heart is pure I pledge my heart to forge with thee a perfect start a vow of honor and devotion passion deep as any ocean a lasting link binds me to you this is our love and love is true yeah and that's what I'm seeing there with that page of cups right this is opening this decision to be love, especially with the Empress as the overall energy. So Venus, the classical love goddess, rides her seashell vessel across the sea, accompanied by a trio of winged cherubs. And we see that chariot energy of movement as well. And the rom romantic. So the meaning is love is true. The goddess of love is paying you a visit. This can mean only one thing. You have found or will soon find your true love. 11 11 baby happiness contentment commitment and trust all of the pieces are coming together to create a lasting romantic relationship oh my god if you have already found your perfect partner rejoice knowing what a blessing you have and look forward to attaining a deeper level of passion together if you're single keep your senses heightened and pay special attention to those around you True love awaits, but if you wait too long for the perfect moment, it might just pass you by. So don't wait too long. Flying fish is number 11. So for the masculine, <clears throat> swallow your fears about falling and focus on all you can be. For soon you'll be sailing through sunlight as fast as you swam in the sea. So I see travel, movement. A butterfly winged angelfish glides effortlessly through the air and that's what the two of wands is it's seeing things from a bird's eye perspective before a pleasantly pastoral scene the juxtaposition between sky and sea suggests a feeling of incongruence yet the fish appears content with its surroundings a fish out of water lately you have been asking yourself the same question again and again what am I doing here you're feeling out of your element and ill at ease. Different faces, different rules, and different expectations. It can certainly be overwhelming, but remember, it is important to leave your comfort zone now and then in order to grow. You might not fit in at first, but give it time. After all, you have adapted to new situations in the past. It might take patience. It might take more effort than you're used to putting forth, but you can definitely do it again. Okay, so... There is that feeling of disconnect, you know, feeling alone, you know, wanting to give up, but giving it that push. Okay, so go for it is what I'm feeling. The message is don't be afraid to pursue what you desire. All right, I do hope this helped. And again, I'm so sorry about the interruption. And uh, like, share, subscribe. All right, cheers.